This video is the first in a series of five short presentations that provide highlights of the James Bryce House Restoration Project. Well, you know the state of Maryland purchased the house at our request. The state of Maryland now owns this. The people really own it. extraordinary thing that's happening and we can't call doing what we do work. I mean, being able to see this house restored to the way it looked when the Bryce family started 250 years ago, that's a, that's a privilege. You're going to see one of the best preserved and most ornate colonial mansions in the country. Those are the words of the experts from Colonial Williamsburg. They are giddy with excitement about this project. We are looking at every nail and every board, and we're looking for patterns in the building. Yeah, we're on our hands and knees and climbing through the attic. Well, one of the things that's really interesting about this project is we have some incredible primary documentary evidence with James Bryce's ledger book. It is a very sophisticated property that has um, wonderful architectural details that we can really um, illuminate through this restoration project. From the attic to the cellar and everything in between really has a lot to offer. It has a cornerstone um, built into the cellar uh, walls and we have the documents to show when that cornerstone was laid and how much rum was given out that day to uh, folks that watched it being laid. And we're doing the same thing. We're, we're going to have our own log on the restoration. My job is to come up with the right age, the right look, uh, appropriate, and then discovering which materials are original that we can use uh, to either replicate or enhance. We've just finished reconstructing a wall in an opening that was uh, put in here in the early 20th century. We're also trying to match what was done originally and we try to imitate that to the greatest degree possible. Unpacking what we could figure out about how the roof was constructed. We were building a model of the attic uh, just so that we could uh, help work out uh, exactly how this thing works structurally. If I do my job correctly, uh, you'll never know I was here. One of the advantages of working with the experts from the Maryland Historic Trust and the experts from Colonial Williamsburg is that we'll, we'll be permitted to hire the very best, highest quality craftsmen in their field to do this restoration. What we're doing, uh, we always start with raw pigments uh, matched to the specifications that are in a report, a paint report. And Susan Buck has provided us with the uh, composition and character of what this lime wash would be. We're gonna make a bunch of samples and put them outside and let it be time tested and weathered and see how it holds up. There's nothing like being able to experience the house. When you walk into that drawing room, there is no space like that. The boards were selected from long runs of lumber, were then put together with hand dowels, and I mean, the carvings on the staircase, the, uh, uh, all the moldings are the result of craftsmen uh, putting in a lot of time with no expense spared. Well, I guess I've been in the trade for 40-some years. How many nails are you making? Uh, I'm not sure. They have a wish list of about 14,000. Yeah. How long does it take you to meet, make each nail? Well, you see, it probably takes three or four minutes a nail. So here again, we did a barrage of tests. And this is very different from what's happened in the other room. And, and we found that um, we needed a more aggressive paint removal system in here, and it's taken two rounds of paint removal. And like the drawing room, we have these corbels that are very soft. They're a different composition, uh, actually, of what the other surrounding decoration is. And we found that this decoration here, sort of this frieze with this vine, and these corbels are the same um, composition because they reacted differently to the paint removal system than, than the other elements. We did find here, it's covered up now, evidence of a picture rail that went along here. And you would never know that and, unless you um, uncovered it. The house is the record. There's nothing like the building itself. You know, there aren't many opportunities to restore 18th century houses. I mean, this is something on a scale that you, 
you just you don't see uh, just the size of the, the structure. This is the pick of the litter. This is the one that actually Mr. Bryce went bankrupt uh, building it because he was showing off so much. It's getting back to that, that human uh, factor, I think that there's a tangible emotion that you get being in a house, being, being able to touch something real and something historic that you don't, can't get from a book or from a movie. It's a wonderful gift the state has given the citizens of Annapolis and the citizens of Maryland and the nation, and we're excited to be part of it.